the CNC is the ideal tool for making projects like this Snoki board. And this Snoki board is a great project for giving you some tips and tricks for creating your CAD drawings. Here we're starting with a basic layout, 6 inches long, 3.5 wide. The first line for the veining is laid out along the center of the board, and then is extended an eighth of an inch beyond the edge, so that the ends of the veins will have a clean finish when the part is cut out. Copies of this line are placed at eighth inch intervals across the width of the board. This way, a 90 degree V-bit set to 1 16th of an inch deep cut will form 8th inch wide grooves creating the pattern we want. Once the V-grooves are completed, the machine is fitted with a quarter inch bit to cut the handle and mill out the shape. The best part about drawing your own designs and milling them out on a CNC is how quickly and easily you can make changes allowing for a wide variety of similar pieces that rarely require any additional physical setup. So I started with the same basic drawing in my CAD program, created a wavy line from a series of three-point arcs, then once again copied and pasted those to both sides of the center line. Whether these V-grooves are straight or curves, makes very little difference at the CNC. Lengthen the basic layout of the Noki board by half to three quarters of an inch, and they can be personalized with a graphic or initials as seen here. You can download the DXF files for these Noki boards for free on our website at woodcademy.com. Use them as is, or better yet, make them uniquely your own by adapting and modifying them in your CAD program. And if you do, be sure to share the results with us.